Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. First John chapter 2. First John chapter 2. I begin my reading from verse 12. Let me start um, to just encourage our hearts. First John chapter 2 verse 12. I write to you little children because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. 13. I write unto you fathers because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write to you young men, now listen, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you little children because you have known the father. 14. I have written to you fathers because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written to you young men because you are strong and the word of God abided in you and you have overcome the wicked one. Grant us understanding even by the spirit. Build our hearts, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. When scripture is talking to the young, it talks about two advantages that they have. Number one is that they are strong. Number two is that the word of God abiding in them has given them the ability to overcome a personality that the Bible calls the wicked one. Please listen. When he writes to the fathers, he describes that your advantage is your knowledge. There is something you have known about God from the beginning. When he writes to the young men, he says your advantage as young people is that you have strength. And then that his word abides in you. And on account of that abiding word, that you have the power to overcome the wicked. It is very important when the Bible is, is teaching us, it's important that we focus on the context of what it is saying. Knowledge for the fathers, strength and the grace to fight is the advantage of young people. Are we together now? First John chapter 5 verse 4. Apostle John is still teaching. And he's teaching the believer that the life of a believer is not only a life of victory, but a life of warfare. Verse 4. For whatsoever, not whosoever, is born of God, overcome it. He's still talking of overcoming. Listen, please. Young men, strength and the grace to fight. And he's saying whatsoever is born of God overcomes this system and this is the victory that overcomes 
there is victory that does not overcome there is victory that calls for celebration but here he's talking about a kind of victory that demonstrates that you are victorious by the experience of your overcoming this system and he says even our faith listen very carefully he didn't say this faith produces that victory he says the faith is the victory are we together now you have to understand this this is for many years i thought he's just talking of faith you will learn something powerful tonight that there is something called the faith that overcomes that if a believer possesses that the proof is that you will be able to rise above this system and the bible calls that faith it does not say the faith produces victory uh -uh. that faith is victory itself are we together Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 16 it starts by saying above all above every spiritual equipping you have been given now remember that in the book of Ephesians he's teaching the believer how to sit a revelation of your position in Christ then he teaches how to walk your walk of faith now he's teaching you how to stand against something he calls the wiles of the enemy and he's saying that above all that you can take a shield a shield I did a little of that during the prayer and fasting I don't know if it was this year or last year a shield of faith and then it says wherewith with that shield you shall have an ability you don't have that ability until that shield is there that when the shield comes you will be able to quench how many all the fiery darts of the wicked the same wicked one John is talking about so we know that when it has to do with warfare satan is revealed as a wicked man wickedness that the whole world lied in wickedness that is the character please listen and then the bible says that you can hold the shield of faith and that with that faith you can quench all not some the fiery darts i write to you young men don't forget what we are dealing with because you are strong i write to you young men because you have an ability to fight and overcome are we together now first corinthians chapter 16 and verse 9 we we'll touch on four scriptures and then i'll begin to teach paul is teaching here and he's saying for a great door he's teaching the church in Corinth and an effectual is opened unto me so he's talking about open doors are we together now dimensions access a great door an effectual is open unto me he said but there are many adversaries a door of opportunity a door of growth a door of grace but he's saying he's teaching us something here that the moment you see doors opening don't celebrate prepare to fight that a great door is open unto me but that the moment a door begins to be opened he's teaching you that you should not be carried away by that door that is open the moment you see doors opening know that there are many adversaries and so young men get set when you see doors open take up your shield of faith because there is the wicked one are you are you getting what i'm teaching you now yes that for every door that is opened and effectual that means you can see the presence of the evil one to validate whether it was God that opened that door and that you are prepared to fight with this shield of faith please understand I teach you a deep mystery that you will need for your spiritual life a great door and an effectual is open but many are the adversaries but the Bible says you can take hold the shield of faith and you will be able to quench 
the fiery darts. Now, listen. It matters that we understand how we grow in the kingdom. It matters, listen please, that we understand how we transit in the kingdom. It matters that we understand how victory is wrought for the saints. Because for many believers, we are aware of promises, but we have not been mentored into the dynamics of walking into the experience of the life, the power, the grace of the kingdom. And so while we are inspired by an expected end, many times we are ignorant of the things that happen between Egypt and Canaan. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So it is true that we fix our eyes on the end, but we are never really taught to understand the many things, the vicissitudes that we will face on the way. And lack of, listen, lack of that understanding can do many things to our experience, including not allowing us to arrive at the end. Spiritual maturity is not just the ability to be in church. In fact, it's not just the ability to read your Bible, to be equipped. Remember when he talks about fathers, their advantage is knowledge. You are fathers because you have an advantage of knowledge. So when he talks about fathers, he says you have knowledge. There is something that you know. When he talks about young men, he says, young men, you are about to know something. You do not yet know it. But in your fight, what you need now is the strength and the stamina to fight. So that when you become fathers, you will also be able to guide the young. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Fathers, you have this knowledge because you fought. And that experience taught you something about God that has become an advantage and a security for you. Young men, you are, your advantage is that you are emotion, there is strength. But there are many things you are going to know. And then he says, guard you with strength and stand in faith. Because a door is open towards you, but there are many adversaries. And you must understand the spiritual technology by which men fight until they grow to become fathers. Listen very carefully to what I'm about to teach you. It's a very powerful mystery. Many believers are not trained to understand the things of the spirit and how to navigate the enemy. Please hear me. This life is a combination of victories that appear when we fight a good fight of faith. Now, I believe in the grace message, don't get me wrong. I believe in all of these dimensions of the kingdom. But there is something about destiny that I want us to respect tonight. That destiny is a threat to Satan. The very, the very picture of destiny, your fulfilling your destiny is the assurance that Satan's doom is imminent. And so when Satan sees a man and a people with a destiny, they become the center of his interest. Now, many believers don't know this. We have all kinds of wise sayings. Don't trouble me. I don't trouble you. And all of that. And we have sometimes this false indoctrination that the only way... You give Satan, the only way Satan comes to you is when you look for his trouble. You are joking. Go and read your Bible well. The, there is something the moment you carry, that thing calls Satan till you leave the earth. Please understand what I'm teaching you. When there is prophecy upon your head, when there is grace upon your life, when there is a word upon your mouth, when there is an interest upon your life, Satan is interested in you. And let me tell you, there is one thing about Satan. He has an undying interest. 
he wants everything God wants. And if that thing is you, then listen to this message. Koinonia is quiet. <laughs> the proposition that many believers have that you just know God, love God, worship God, engage principles here and there, you know, just speak the word here and there, and just cut walk into a glorious destiny is a joke. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's a joke. If it is destiny in Christ, if it's a life of victory, then please understand what I tell you, that there is faith that overcomes. Follow me as I teach. I have discovered that Satan's assignment, listen carefully, Satan's assignment is never to fight your fate. I used to think Satan was after our fate. I found out that's wrong. Satan is not after your faith. Satan is after the information upon which your faith was built. Now, please understand what I'm teaching you. Satan is not interested in your faith. Satan is interested in information, words. Because that is the basis upon which faith is built. Please understand this. <clears throat> There is no basis for faith until it is built on a word or the word as the case may be. Are we together? If I tell Pastor Alpha or Pastor Femi or Kenny or anybody, I say, come. I have called them. I have sent a word. They can place their faith upon it now. You see that? So what you really attack is not their obedience what you attack is the information if i tell pastor alpha come pastor Femi, come and they hear another voice that says go now that is an attack on information because in either ways it is going to necessitate action please listen to what i'm teaching you Many believers get to a point in their Christian experience where they have access to spiritual information that many times begins to corrupt the pace of their work with God. There are many believers who the challenge in their life is information dependent Satan just comes in to plant another information please hear what I teach you we're going to go to Genesis and you see what happened to Adam and Eve I, I thought Satan was after faith action no he's after information Hezekiah heard just one information from a prophet and Hezekiah's whole life went down. If prophet Isaiah never reached Hezekiah, he probably would be able to, maybe he would have died still. But just that information, one information. The apostles of the Lamb were walking with Jesus and they had one information, I'm about to die, I'm going and I'm leaving you. And that changed everything. Jesus, where are you going? A dead body had one information and came back to life. Wine was finished. One information was introduced. And the next thing, water was turned to wine. Listen to me. This is a kingdom where we reign. And this is a kingdom where Satan operates. And this is also a kingdom where God operates by the power of spiritual information. In fact, information generally. Whether spiritual, whether intellectual, whether psychological. Our fight, therefore, in this kingdom is not necessarily a fight against spirits alone. 
is not necessarily a fight against antichrist systems alone. The greatest warfare of a believer, listen to me, will be the warfare of words, the warfare of information. One information comes into your life or a series of information and it turns an ordinary student to become a doctor, to become an engineer, to become whatever it is, information. One information in a business seminar suddenly turns someone who has no hope of prospering. He receives that information and that information turns his life around. Have you been taught that in this kingdom, the maker and the breaker of men is information? There is what we call IT today. It's called information technology. Information is so powerful that technology was built around it. People have become multi-millionaires because they have mastered the art of disseminating information. They have created platforms around the world that connect people and supply information and they have prospered through it. Information is so powerful that when God is about to come and give Daniel an information, he doesn't just speak from heaven, he sends an angel with it to come. That's how much he places value on information. When Mary is about to receive Jesus, Jesus coming to her like that, she would not receive him. An angel had to come. Before the journey of Jesus started, she supplied an information. And Mary said, be it unto me. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any of the beasts of the field which the Lord has made. Verse 2. And he said, notice now, we call this the fall of man theologically speaking of, you know, Adam and Eve now falling from that height and being banished out of the Eden of God. And remember, the entire story started with words. Satan comes to the woman, to the serpent, and says, what did God say? Please go back to verse 1. I want to find out. All I am after is what information are you standing upon? Because the information is creating an effect in this garden. And that effect is creating is not giving me allowance. So for me to thwart the purposes of God, I want to find out. So I'm on a research. What did God tell you? And the woman said, well, verse 2. God said we may eat. So God gave us access to the fruit of the trees of the garden. Verse 3. But of the fruit, aha, Satan's attention is coming now. He says, this and that and that you shall not eat, neither shall you touch it. And then he said, what is the consequence? That if you touch it, you shall die. So an information tied to life and an information tied to death. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And then Satan does not say, man, leave the garden. Satan does not say, man, I command you to die. In fact, Satan does not say, man, stop having faith. He says, man, give me your attention. Next verse. The serpent said, ye shall not die. Do you know what he's doing? He did not touch their faith. He's redirecting where the faith is based upon now. They still need faith to believe this. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And the only thing he came was to withdraw nicely the information upon which their victory in the garden was predicated upon. And he shifted it and supplied another information. And they absorbed that information. Verse 5. 
it says for God knows for God knows I write to you fathers any father including God that the advantage in fatherhood is knowledge for God knows that the day you eat thereof your eyes will be opened and then you shall be as gods knowing good and evil verse 6 now he said when the woman saw notice what the information started doing the information was like a drug we are not aware that he touched her he just supplied an information the first thing the information changed was perception the eyes the eyes started coming under the influence of that information and then number two an appetite started coming out that was not there now look at how words are powerful you will now know why God is called the Word of God the compendium of the thoughts of God this is how Satan sent man out of Eden is it not amazing that he never used a sword my brothers and my sisters the greatest battles are not fought with knives the greatest battles are not fought with blood and arrows and guns the greatest battles is the energizings that information does to people and the Bible says here that when she saw that it was pleasant and good for food, the Bible says she partook of it. Ate. That information compelled action. He never touched her, but he made something that had entered her spirit and her mind to compel action. And then the Bible says that she gave unto her husband who was there and he did eat. Next verse and the eyes of them both were open and they knew that they were naked and they sued fig trees the long and short is he banished them out of the garden this is the first official record in the Bible of man becoming a victim of Satan this is the first official record of the warfare between man and Satan and Satan won so it means that we have to go back and study what weapon he used and he used the weapon of words weapons of information are we together now yes there is another way of doing ministry that can produce great results that information comes I can put something in your pocket and suddenly the power of God will multiply you were moving in innocence but an information came I will tell you something about informations I just needed to know that the real warfare of a believer is a battle of information Satan wants your mind because your your destiny is not just God dependent it's also dependent on the information that runs you your faith cannot be based on nothing and whatever something it is that is the pillar of your confidence of your results that's what Satan wants please listen to me the information upon which your faith is built that is his concern Satan is not interested in your faith as it were he's interested because faith is simply conviction on an information and the corresponding action you take to demonstrate that you are convicted that's it so if I tell Tosin I say Tosin go and collect that handkerchief from this gentleman now faith can come because I have released a word is that true yes that word will stop him from doing what he was doing before and compel him now to act so when you see him move you call it faith but faith would never have been there except that an information came now assuming he's on his way going and I now stop him and give him another word I said don't worry go back what did I do I turned his whole life around using information listen to what I teach you there is power in this will you open up the gate open up the door will you open up the gate 
Shalando Siata. Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. One more time, you are asking for the gates of life to be opened. Will you open up the gate? I want to show you why information is power, both in the realm of the spirit and in this realm. I want to show you why words are so powerful. God protects it with his name and calls himself the word of God. God does not call himself um, the hand of God as it were. He names himself after information. If God names himself after information, that information created the heavens and the earth. Something was said and suddenly made bones that were hiding to come out. Something was said that made bones that were dead to come back to life. Something was said that made fishermen to not be interested in fishing again. I can stop whatever you are doing now, not by fighting you. I only need to introduce something to you. I can move your life by information. I can stop your life by information. I can help you to be anointed by information. And I can destroy you by information. No wonder the founders of some of the great conglomerates around the world today, their product, the advantage is the vast access they have to information. Google, Facebook, they are a threat today to national security and the simple advantage is because they develop a psychological platform that compel the world to grant them access to information to the point that the US government has to call them. There are several cult groups today and everything that is discussed in those cult groups are privy information. Are we together now? Let me share with you the technology of words. I want to show you, that's not the topic for tonight. I want to show you why words are powerful. I want to show you why information is powerful. So that you will understand that every time a word goes before you, it's not just a time to jump. It's a time to begin to prepare. Because Satan is coming after that information. This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare. I've sent you with an information. I've done my best. Timothy, hold that information and fight until you win. Let me tell you why words are powerful. Second Kings. I mean, not Second Kings. Ezekiel chapter 2. I sense a strong anointing in this place. Look up, please. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand up on thy feet, and I will speak unto you. Verse 2. And the Spirit entered me. Wow. When he spake unto me, and that Spirit, the Word, just stop at my ear and the spirit continued the spirit started making my body to start acting in consonance with what was said now listen please that he wanted me to move from where I was to another place and he simply sent a word and when that word got to the gate of my ears it was not it, it had finished his work like a tray Every other thing that entered me was no longer sound, it was spirit. And that when it entered me, like a drug reacting to a patient, have you swallowed a drug before? And then you stand and the contraindications begin to work on you. You start to feel drowsy and you are wondering. Remember, you didn't ask the drug whether you wanted to be drowsy or not. It entered you and started reconfiguring you. I know your action by what you have received. 
I look at your destiny and I can, I can trace your victory or your problem to the presence of information. What did God tell you? Your victory cannot be automatic. So if what did God tell you in your conversation with him? Because in Genesis, when you read Genesis chapter 2, it says, now the Lord came. The Hebrew word is the talking spirit. The spirit that speaks. The spirit that lives by speaking. The spirit that changes a man's life by speaking. Now listen. So for every word that is spoken, there is a spirit. The word spirit there does not just mean the Holy Spirit. It means there is an energizing. Words and information carry energy. They create a climate that compel action. This is where religion and science both agree. That words are powerful. They are shapers of perception. They are initiators of action words I write to you young men because you are strong and the word of God abides in you your strength is based on something you have heard and your victory is predicated upon a, a spiritual information supply There is a medical condition called brain damage. There is also another medical condition called loss of memory. It happens a lot with old people. It's a state where because of whatever biological challenges, you no longer have the retention power. You can forget your wife, your husband. And medical people agree that it's a dangerous state for a man to be in. There are people, watch this, who all of a sudden, especially the elderly, after 60, 70 years of living on earth, it could even be a pilot, it could even be a professor, just two months, something affects the bank of information and the man can no longer walk. His bones were not affected. The information was withdrawn. And he stands up and can no longer move. And you ask him and say, what is your name, sir? And he talks like a toddler. The absence of information turn a man to a baby. The technology of words. Words carry presence. Information carries energy. Whether they are spiritual information, whether they are psychological information, whether they are, they are um, intellectual information, that every time your, the gate of your ears and your eye is open to information, there is more that happens to you than awareness and enlightenment. Ladies and gentlemen, now I want you to pay attention because I'm showing you a secret that is destroying our generation. I show you the reason why men never stay until they win. I show you a reason why very few people are victorious in this life. Do you know why? Because one of the worst things that happened to us on earth is a system that allowed information to go uncoordinated. It's one of the worst discoveries. It is an advantage but what a, it was a galore for Satan when that happened. There are still a few nations today. Now I'm not, I'm not, I'm not speaking political. But there are a few nations today that still have some level from an earth realm. From some level of sanity a bit. And the reason why those nations have is the dictators, the leaders there. Worked with the government to stop information dissemination. Is that true? When you study um, stories of men like Adolf Hitler, 
who led the campaign wanting to make Germany to speak about dominance. There were chants and cliches that they continued to put. It was on radio, it was everywhere. And all they were doing is indoctrinating the average German to believe he was superior. And it worked. He built an army not by recruiting men, information. Terrorist groups today continue to recruit people, not necessarily by force. They propose information that can make a young man who is on his way becoming a doctor to suddenly turn and say, I want to become part of a group and will be willing to die for it. Whoever told you information is cheap. Whoever told you information is simple. Where God names himself, the word of God, the information of God. So every time words come to you, here's the technology. When a word is spoken, or you come in contact with words or information, the first thing that happens to you is your imagination is activated. Imaginations cannot be activated until there are words. This is why words are dangerous. Words are the only instruments that have the power to activate imagery from where we get imaginations. Halus Calabria Scubedia. Everybody look up. Imagine a yellow orange. Yellow orange. Big yellow orange. Now imagine that someone is cutting that orange with a knife. Are you seeing how whether you like it or not, you are thinking what I'm saying. You are not just hearing it. I'm forcing your mind to move a direction by using the power of information. Now imagine a mother carrying a little baby. Imagine the baby trying to cry. Are, are you seeing how helpless your mind is? Provided the only way you can stop that imagination is to stop the information from reaching you. But once it is there, it has an ability that not even you can control again. Once it enters, it's like a drug. It starts to become an artist. It paints images about God, about life, about Satan. A little baby never believed that life can be hard till an information came. He heard the father or the mother say, Kai, this life self, this life self, and an image began to be created. And that image, listen, it is dangerous because the moment an image is built, your emotions are connected to the image. The moment your emotions are connected to images, creation begins immediately. This is how things manifest. Please, I want you to listen. You will thank me for what you are learning today. When the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, it knows what it's saying. That means control the information that enters into your spirit man because out of it, that information is not just words. That information is not just speakings. That information is a potential for creation that can make or mar you. What Elijah is playing now is not just music. What he's playing now, they are words. They are spiritual information operating at different frequencies and because your tripartite nature was designed to understand this your ears may not know what he's saying but your spirit man knows that is the reason why they can use music to calm people down that is why when music was played a demon left Saul the demon had something that Saul did not hear the ear of Saul was not necessary. Just allow the string enter. When it gets to the realm of the spirit, it will change back to words and the spirit will know what is being said. Listen to me. Nations today 
have gone to war simply because of information. Whole territories have been annihilated because of information. There are people today in hellfire because of information. Who has believed our reports? To that man, the arm of the Lord has been made revealed. Words carry spirits. Words carry energy. And this is not some science nonsense. I am telling you, you literally can program your climate in less than a minute by the entrance. He said the entrance of your word give it light and understanding. That means show a confused man scattered in destiny. Just introduce the word of God to that person. And that's it. Your life will begin to reflect the information that you have. I'm saying this because, listen to me, our generation is very careless over our minds. Our generation is very careless over the power of words. In ministry, in life, people don't seem to have regard for words. Words are powerful. Words produce effects. Words can make. Words can destroy. Words can heal. Words can cause pain. Words are powerful. And if you understand this, words create imaginations and they connect us to those imaginations. When Satan wants a cause to remain in your family, he does not say cause remain. He uses words, the word of a priest, the word of an elder, words that have come from father to grandfather. Now you believe those words and when you believe those words, they create images. You are emotionally connected to those images and you are loyal to what you believe. That is the strength of the altar. The altar sits on your emotional connection to those words. The day you stop believing those words, you are ready for the power of God to smash that thing. That's why when the Holy Ghost comes, he now tells you, are you not aware that there is another information? Esther, listen, her man came and requested the king to approve an information. And an information was stamped already and the death sentence of the people were waiting. They were going about every day. They did not know that they had finished killing them by information. Even when her man died, they were still in trouble because the real enemy was not her man. The real enemy was the information. Esther knew that the death of her man had not yet solved that problem information and so Esther went to the king and said do you know what you have to write another information that can give an upper hand to preserve my people it was at that Esther chapter 6 that the story ends with honor and glory information words that's what they call a pre fool many of you do it People have collapsed because of April Fool. Others have died and no opportunity to tell them I'm joking again. Now watch this. You go to an ATM to withdraw money. Remember the ATM does not speak English. You are just using your eyes. Withdraw for me 5,000 and the ATM says cash unavailable. Immediately that report depresses you. You stand there. A machine did not flog you. A machine did not speak your language. It only created an energy. Remember, you are smiling. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Bouncing to the ATM. And suddenly, because you punch and it said cash unavailable, you start thinking, this is how my life is. It did not ask you to think that way. While you are laughing, take seriously what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Satan waits until the information has been connected to your imagery then he comes he will create a system around it sit upon it and your doom becomes almost imminent this is the victory that overcomes what victory the labor in the spirit to protect the information it is real warfare and it produces real victory are you hearing what I'm saying now? 
there are, there are many of us here that are parents. Why do we prefer, now please, I, I, this is respectful with all my heart, but why will a parent prefer to carry a child to a mission school than an ordinary public school? It may not necessarily just be the standard. The parent wants to keep the child within a sociological sphere that regulates the quality of the information that is in the mind of the child. And to do that because it's not cheap, you will pay for it. That's the reason why a school where there can be people, there's no gate in and out. Anybody can lean on this class and suggest you can pay next to nothing. But there are people who pay millions per term on a child. And you are wondering, it is not only the knowledge they are paying for, they are paying for the atmosphere. Are we together now? When you go to Transcorp, or you go to any of these modern day hotels, you buy a cup of coffee and you can pay 5,000. Stroll 30 meters, 10 meters from that place, you will get the same coffee, hello, the same hot water, the same everything for less than 500 naira. So what did you really pay for? Because your access to that place can give you an information. You can be seated in a lounge when two millionaire businessmen are discussing and you will hear something that can be an advantage. You can be there when politicians are talking. So you are not only paying for tea, you are paying for the energy that you are receiving there. Why does Satan fight your coming to Koinonia? Did you hear the wonderful testimony of that, my dear brother? Why does Satan fight tooth and nail? He knows that it is not only the speakings of a man. That more than what you are hearing, there is a spirit. Please hear what I'm saying. Somebody testified that he got an alert. What did the alert do to him? Notice he had not verified whether the alert would be reversed. As soon as he saw it, he just started becoming glad. Watch this. A student stands in front of the board. He's coming with his friend to check his result. Glory be to God. I'm happy. We'll all be graduates. And he stands in front of the board. And in two minutes, he sees an information. Three carryovers. And that person is there. And for the next one week, he cannot become himself again because an information came. Imagine that while he's standing there, somebody just comes and says, sorry, it's a mistake. It was not your number. Watch, the, immediately he will change back. Now watch this. Look at how you are moving at the frequency of information. Like people who check admission list and don't see their names and they go back depressed and then they see a text congratulations say for what say you got admission say no you are checking your first name check your son name and you quickly check and that's your name immediately you start to dance the information did not tell you to dance it created an energy that supplied action are you getting what i'm saying now that means if words create imaginations that connect us emotionally to it, then we must guard the words and the information that comes to us. Another thing with words is that they compel us to think and act in honor of the persuasions obtained. To think and act in honor of the persuasions. You receive an information that your loved one has gone to be with the Lord. That information does something to you. That's why you cry. That information does something to you. That's why you are gloomy and agitated. That information does something to you. The same way you receive an information, somebody just blessed you with a house. That information does something to you. Now listen to me. Listen to me. When you become a master at creating your own spiritual, emotional, and sociological climate, you have become a master indeed. Do you know why I'm saying that? Because for every open door you read, there are many 
adversaries. And guess how the adversaries act? They operate through words. Through words. You will be promoted to a company as soon as you get there. You will be happy until you hear that there is tribalism in this company. The moment you hear it, it begins to affect you. A believer has the responsibility, please hear me, in honor of your destiny, in honor of the purposes of God, you have a responsibility under God to set a guard, not just over your mouth, but over your mind, to control the information. Unfortunately, our world today is full of all kinds of information. People have entered divination not knowing, because in a bid to search for truth, they stop Stumble across Greek and Hebrew words, who went to Latin words, who went to ancient words, who went to magical chants, and before you know it, they found themselves in all kinds of things. I learned this about my life, and I learned this from uncommon mentors. And when I learned this, it, I made it a personal responsibility that my life I was going to guard with jealousy because the information that you are connected to ignites creation and sooner or later you will begin to see those information notice I am a doctor this is a patient he's feeling a little bit of pain in his side and then he comes to me and I run a test and I tell him sir you have cancer and based on this cancer, I'm not saying doctors are wrong. It is at stage four. And usually, statistics, we built a statistic around this information. That at this stage of cancer, you have between six months to one year to live. Any other encouragement you give that man is a waste of time. The information has entered. Let me tell you what will begin to happen. My child is only nine years. What am I going to do with my nine-year-old child? And then the spirit of fear rides upon that information and comes. I hope you know that there are cases that don't reach nine months. Fear is coming. The next thing, the spirit of suicide comes. What good is living? While all of this is happening, watch this. Those possibilities will now be making all of these foundational things look strong and powerful. As though they veto you and walk. They depend on your partnership, your reception of words. Now watch this. He said, young men, the word of God abides in you. That means when that kind of report comes, there should be, if you are a believer, there should be war within your spirit. If there is no war, it's a sign that you are not holding the shield of faith and you are not an overcomer. Because it is expected that it should enter and meet another information. And listen, when the word went to hell, there was war in hell. Are we together now? Satan mimicking, attempting to be the light bearer, the word, and then the word himself, the logos of God, there was war in hell. And he triumphed over them and came out as the firstborn of the begotten. The war happened in the realm of the spirit, but the result was seen in the physical realm. The war always happens in the realm of the spirit. The death happens in the realm of the spirit. The defeat happens in the realm of the spirit. And all we see is the physical manifestation. Satan and Jesus did not come to the earth. And then they came out and said, wow, now we no, 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 no. The battle was won there. The keys were collected. And he came out victorious and said, all hail, all power. Immediately he resurrected. He spoke straight up. There is something you need. Disciples come together. In three days, you had something that changed your mind. Little children come. Feed my lamb. Tarry in Jerusalem. The Holy Ghost is coming. Information. That's what he left them with. When the angels came, they said, why look up, you know, to the sky? This same Jesus you have seen, he will return. That became the basis of salvation, the death, the burial, the resurrection of Christ. Paul created a theology out of that information. That is where we stand today. He calls it the power of God unto salvation. Please listen to what I tell you. 
our children watch cartoons and people get initiated why because of information notice that when these children hear they start chanting what they are saying even if it's part of what they are saying whether or not they understand it and they become emotionally connected to it and it begins to affect them i write to you young men because you are strong fathers you know this you are equipped in knowledge but i write to you young men because you are strong i write to you young men because the word of god is abiding in you and because of that abiding word satan is going to come and when he comes fight what fight the fight of allowing the word of god gain superiority he said let god be true and let every man be a liar this is the warfare of the believer I got a report from home in the name of Jesus let the word of God well up within me I decree and declare there is no death in my family there is no going down there is only rising up the hand of God is upon me you are fighting the warfare you are using that faith that the bible calls is the victory i give you a guarantee there is one thing satan does not have an indefinite power to survive it is the keeper of israel that does not sleep nor slumber satan can be weary But there are many weak believers we sit down and allow the devil shred our lives into pieces we sit down and allow the devil to take advantage do you know there are people right now who are like if you can imagine in the realm of the spirit imagine chains that are a result of several presents that came because of words you will fail you will die your life will not rise you are good for nothing and you sit down and it leads to depression The birth of anything valuable is painful. It will require you knowing how to fight Satan. I'm saying this because this thing is killing people all over the earth. Internet. People go online and type something. Go online and just put something. Bam, and they hear an information that depresses their life forever. Oh, the job you did with that class there is a statistics like this that out of the so 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 million of graduates only three in ten years see let me tell you the truth and I submit to you many information on this earth are useless as far as your life is concerned as far as your victory is concerned you have an assignment to lean and help the spirit of truth to guide you into the truth that are necessary for your life if you expose yourself to just any and every kind of information you will lose the anointing you will lose relevance you will lose power your strength is in your protecting that information you must guard yourself is God speaking to us this gentleman sings I can tell him one word your song is beautiful it will take you around the earth he can carry that information and be working with it until he meets a manager and the manager looks at him and says what tribe are you you are not this tribe mr man i don't want to lie to you i'm sorry another information creates presence listen we are going to pray tonight and many of you do not know that you are in the you are in the midst of different demonic energies that have come from words and because you are connected to these various things they make good things look evil it is this energy that will make good people look like devils even if somebody looks at you and say nice hair you say nice hair for what you are reacting to an energy there are information that has come to you that nothing good will come out of your life so it corrupts your perception when God says I want to lift you like Mephibosheth you say am I a dog God go and lift others 
tonight we have come to tear these things is why people don't prosper let me tell you it doesn't matter what kind of business you do the real business is the business of information is the reason why no great businessman will teach anything valuable everywhere they will call you and culture you and make sure you are ready to receive what they are telling you there was something Peter, James, and John saw and knew that the rest did not know. That was why they became the pillars. There are things God has shown me in my life about himself. There are things God has revealed to me. They become the objects of my protection because they are the pillars of my success. And if anything happens to them, then it will shred my life into pieces and I will continue to labor to protect them. Let me tell you this, your atmosphere is waiting for you to stand in faith and tear down that atmosphere. Otherwise, I don't care what kind of deliverance you do, you will get up and fall down. Your life will never change that atmosphere. I can stand in front of this guy and pick the signals of depression. I can stand in, not word of knowledge, I can pick the signals of discouragement. Why? Because I am also a spirit being and this guy has been programmed by an atmosphere. Let me tell you this. Human beings are simply walking atmospheres, carrying their possibilities around. And you have an assignment under God to fight this warfare of preserving your atmosphere, the insistence. It's called the faith that brings victory. You must be careful what you say to yourself. You must be careful what you say to others. You must be careful what you hear from yourself. You must be careful what you hear about others. It is not the information, it is the effect on your life, on your destiny. It is the effect. Um, a few days ago, I, I was watching an interview between some of the billionaires in the world and I was shocked at the, they are so cultured. Words are expensive to them. You see the way they speak. And then I was watching CNN. I don't know when was it. I was just watching a, 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 an impeachment probe that, that is going on and so on and so on. And I mean, you, you could see the way those guys were meticulously words. Just one word not said correctly can be the... And I said, ah, God, grant me the grace to master words. If my destiny is word dependent, then do something to my life. This is more than the ability to speak English. This is the ability to make sure that your communications are cultured, seasoned with salt. Number two, to ensure that you have an atmosphere that is a shield. That faith, immune by the word of God. When death comes, it finds an information. When discouragement comes, it finds an information. You are enveloped in it. Just like that. The shield. Please hear me. The days that are coming will require this understanding. The days that are coming, you will need to be the prophet of your own destiny. The days that are coming, you will need to set a guard over your mind. Your prosperity depends on it. Your lifting depends on it. Those of us in ministry, listen twice. Let me tell you, the days that are coming, you must master the art of ensuring that your spiritual climate, that your intellectual climate, that your emotional climate is seasoned with the word of God. It's an assignment you must do because a lot depends on it. Let me show you one scripture and then we'll find a place to pray. Second Kings chapter 7. Please pray in the spirit in one minute. Second Kings chapter 7. Second Kings chapter 7. 
second kings chapter 7 hallelujah please look up watch this then Elisha said this is the prophet hear ye the word he, he wants to change farming now I want to show you the technology until now Samaria is under siege to the point that women are eating their children do you think those women started eating their children like that somebody must have said something that made women to see their children as food because children are not food tomorrow about this time information everybody say words shall a measure of flying flour be, be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria next verse verse 2 and then this other Lord said a lot of things simply because he did not fight the prophet he fought the information that came from God and there was a consequence he said behold thou shalt see it with your eyes but thou shalt not eat thereof next verse now watch how God brings his word to pass look up please we're about to pray there were four leprous men at the entering in of the gate and they said the spirit of prophecy made them to start saying to one another are you seeing how this thing works they were not talking to themselves before but an anointing came as soon as that anointing came information started coming why they said to one another why sit we here till we die was that the first time they were sitting there they had been there but see every word is sponsored by spirits listen to what i tell you when they were prophesying i hope you know these four lepers did not hear it they did not hear the prophecy but the spirit that went with that prophecy started searching for men and they were sitting they didn't even know a spirit had come upon them the next thing the urge to talk and they said why should we sit here and die and as soon as they started contemplating go back go to verse 4 if we say we will enter the city then famine is in this city and we shall die there and if we sit here we will die also please talk to me what has this got to do with four lepers sitting down it is not about leprosy it is creation about to happen but creation cannot happen until spiritual information come even for lepers even if you cannot walk you can hear it says now therefore come they are talking to one another let us fall onto the host of the Syrians if we save us alive we shall die if they kill us we shall but die look at this these are people sitting at the gate running away from hunger and in minutes courage comes upon them and they make up their mind let's just go and give ourselves to our enemy if we die information now watch this verse 5 and they rose up what time at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians and when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria behold there was no man there what happened next verse hallelujah Mako Sibra Katushiata for the Lord made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise he did something to their perception they got an information i'm showing you how they ran away they got an information and then even a great noise and they said the same way the leper said to one another this guy said to one another no the king of israel had hired against us are you seeing what perception does it gives you ideas that are not there they, there was no business the kings themselves were afraid but here is an information making a weak man look strong The king had hired against us the kings of the Hittites, the Egyptians, and so on and so forth to come upon us. Wherefore, they arose and fled also in the twilight and left their tents, their horses, their asses, 
even the camp as it was and fled for their life. Eight. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink. And they carried silver, gold, raiment, and went and hid it, and came again, and entered into another tent, and carried all of this, verse 9, to tell you it was the Spirit of God. They now said, the same Spirit now made them to pass another information. It would have stopped at them stealing to run away, but the goal would not be achieved. The goal was the salvation of Samaria, not the healing of four lepers. So the Spirit now came, and still made them to say to one another again, we do not well. Same spirit. Can you imagine that? One moment they are stealing and running away and happy. Next moment they are convicted and say we do not do well. This is the day of good tidings and we hold our peace. If we tarry till morning, what if some mischief come upon us? Now therefore come, let us go to the king's house and tell him this good report. That king, we came and found food here. Four lepers were used to save a nation through the power of words. I'm showing you the technology. If one of those lepers, just one, said I'm not going, the rest would have been discouraged. It was the spirit of God that made all of them to unanimously agree. Man of God, let me show you where the next level of your ministry is. It's not just in a man. It is in an information. There is something you can hear. There is something you have heard. There is something you are hearing that is shaping your life literally. We are products of the information that we have heard. There is something Koinonia has heard that has been the building block upon which the faith of God rests. There is something our families have heard that has authorized darkness to defeat us. Tonight in prayer is a warfare of words. To stand to say, Lord, a generation depends on the quality of not only my spiritual enlightenment, but the warfare. My children are depending on the quality. Listen, let me tell you this. The Bible says, I think it's Mark 4 or so. Did I write it here? Mark chapter 4 and verse 24. Let me show you God's standard. It says, take heed what ye hear. With what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you. That means hearing is also sowing when you hear it's like a farmer putting seeds and he said that if you hear you are drawing more of that that means you keep attracting more things to your life are you seeing why more tragedies continue to come to people because their minds continue to create the climate for it this is where it comes from it shall be measured to you and unto you that hear shall more be given more of what you hear more of what you hear if you hear the word of god you hear things that build you more of it will come you hear about the anointing it will bring the anointing more of it will come you hear about that's why we must be careful now i minister deliverance and all of that but i have a little problem with talking about satan and talking about demons every day and forever it is dangerous because more than the information you are trying to pass, you are shaping the minds of the people to the point that they will never ever see victory again. When Isaiah, the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah told us what he saw. He said, I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. Son of man, what seest thou? You must choose what you hear. Parus Kadia. You must choose what you see. Words is a battle of destiny. Please understand what I'm telling you. It's a battle of destiny. Words are like drugs. The only thing is that they don't enter through your mouth. Once they enter your spirit, they can keep you poor. 
they can keep you less anointed but when you embrace the engrafted word it is able to make you this is the place of encounter this is the place of surrender to be what you are. This is the place where my flesh gives way. Do to me what you are. This is the place where my life is changed. The disciples went into hiding because of something they heard. As soon as Jesus resurrected, he told Mary Magdalene, he said, run, go and tell them this new information. Jesus is alive, he's risen, the tomb is empty. As soon as she went to tell them, that information gave them energy. Listen, you are dying today physically because of something that entered your ears something else must enter you tonight as the spirit something else I am able I am well able I am well able 12 spies were sent 10 of them came with something called an evil report the Bible did not call it an honest report. It called it an evil. It was their perception they brought. And the Bible says, I don't care if it's not the word of God. It's an evil report. And Joshua and Caleb said, let's go up at once. He said, we are well able. They were the only two that entered the promised land. Listen. Listen. You must make it a project to frustrate Satan in your life. You must make it a project to disallow. He is at the mercy of your understanding this truth. I write to you fathers because you have known. I write to you sons because although you do not know, you have strength. You can fight and experience can come out of your battle. That when you now become fathers, you can mentor other sons. I write to you fathers, young men, because the word abides in you. So when words come, it's a battle of words and you fight in the spirit to preserve those words. Listen, he said, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes. But what they received made them to speak. On the day of Pentecost, fire came on their head but the reaction was speaking. They began to speak. From that speaking, 3,000 were saved. From that speaking, the church began to advance. Please hear me. Your destiny is bigger than your today. Man of God, this level of ministry, is only the starting point and let me tell you this if you can hold on to that victory the bible calls the fight to protect god's information the victory that overcomes the victory that overcomes the victory that overcomes the victory that overcomes overcomes lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit the victory that overcomes the victory that overcomes in the name of Jesus the victory that overcomes even our faith the victory that overcomes even our faith the victory that overcomes even our faith the victory that overcomes Pray, be a speaking spirit tonight. Pray, be a speaking spirit tonight. Be a speaking spirit tonight. 
Shena da baya, ere bala da basuri ara bala da bala da bala da. Ora do shene barutas, e prekete baruto so prekete. Is someone praying? Shane ke baruto so do praga da bala, raka da baka praga do shene ke bele do. E do so baruto so prekete, si ke te di shana so baya. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Hear me. Hear me. It was through the power of prayer, a physical climate change from a dry season to a rainy season. Any climate can change when we pray. Elijah prayed dry season to become rainy season. You are going to pray. That every atmosphere and every climate that ministers death, that ministers discouragement, that in the name of Jesus, both the information and the atmosphere live my life. Speak to it. Speak to your childhood. Speak to your limitations. I come in the name of the Lord, the captain of the armies of heaven. Corinthians 14 verse 10. Read with me. One to read. There are as it may be so many kinds of voices in the world and none of them is without signification. That means no voice at all is just a social voice. No voice at all is just a technology voice. No every voice is programming your destiny. Whether it is the voice of a mentor, the voice of the word of God, the voice of culture, the voice of your childhood, the voice of your family, you are going to pray. The Bible says bringing down every stronghold and every thought to the obedience of Christ. Lift your voice and tear down words and information.
Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed seeds and went his way. But the Bible says, every tree that has not been planted by my father, in the realm of your spirit and in the realm of your mind, you are going to uproot and tear down by faith. Lift your voice and declare, I uproot every speaking, I uproot every foundation, I uproot every perception, I uproot every communication that is not consistent with the character, every communication that is not consistent with my goal, with my destiny, with my dominance. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Is someone praying tonight? Hallelujah. Please look up while still praying. There's a strong anointing here. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. But we need to know how we resist the devil in this kingdom. Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. Please give it to us quickly. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. Resist the devil. Matthew, help us media. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. This is how Jesus rebuked and resisted the devil. Then said Jesus to him, Get thee then, Satan, for it is written. That is the basis. It is written. Not I think, not I wish, it is written. The victory that overcomes is a victory that is written. Written. The logos. Get thee tense poverty, for it is written. Get thee tense limitation, for it is written. Lift your voice and declare, Satan, away from my destiny, away from my life. It is written. Speak scripture. It is written.
Hallelujah. Prophet Joel. Prophet Joel taught us a very deep mystery. In chapter 3, please give it to us. We are praying. Chapter 3 and verse 10. Joel. Joel 3 and verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords. In other words, it's time for the fight of faith. And your pruning forks into spares this is not just a time for harvest it's a time for warfare and then he says in that warfare let the weak say I am strong let the poor say I am rich let the redeemed of the Lord say so you are about to say so now this is strategy everything the Bible says you are Everything the word of God says you are, you are about to say it now. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. I am strong. In the name of Jesus, I am blessed. If someone pray, I am anointed. My business is flourishing, pray. The ministry is flourishing by the spirit. My home is flourishing by the power of the Holy Ghost. My finances is flourishing by the spirit of the Christ. I go from glory to glory. I go from grace to grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. And listen to me. You are going to declare. The Lord spoke to us that this is our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. You are going to pray and prophesy. It must be as he said. It must be as he said. Over every area of my life. Lift your voice now and begin to pray. It must be as he said. Rest of the 
Job chapter 5 verse 19 We read 19 and 20 Job chapter 5 Job chapter 5 Are we there? He shall deliver thee in six troubles Yea in seven shall no evil touch you Verse 20 in famine this is the first kind of trouble that comes upon men in the earth famine he shall redeem thee from death in war he shall redeem thee from the power of the sword 21 thou shall be hid from the scourge of the tongue Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. Listen, this is a mystery that one day... God will grant me the grace to teach in this place. The word league is covenant. That you will be in, in a covenant with the stones of the field. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. Listen, he said in six troubles, year seven, he shall deliver you. You are about to pray these prayers in famine, in war. The speakings and the tongues of men, Lord, arise by the Spirit and let my life see your salvation. Let my life see your salvation. Lift your voice and pray. Are you praying? Every zone, 
Praise the Lord. Just two or three more prayer points and we are done for the night. Listen to me. You are going to cry to God and ask the Holy Spirit to be the administrator of your atmosphere. Listen. It's a powerful prayer. He is called the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. The protector of your atmosphere that your mind will always remain at the presence Samuel had the voice of God because he was lying down close to the ark you are going to pray Spirit of the Lord you were sent to guide me into all truth guide me into the truth information that will build faith in me for the days that come Lift your voice and begin. Please lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. You are the wisdom of God. Guide me to all truth. Take away your necessity for my life. Lead me to information. Lead me to scripture. Lead me to revelation. Lead me to understanding that build my life, that build my destiny. Koinonia, is this your prayer? Is this your prayer tonight? Is this your prayer tonight? Guide me to truth for my destiny, truth for my finance, truth for my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, Declare ye that ye might test be justified. That means your bailout, your vindication in the realm of the spirit is predicated upon your declaring. Declaring what? What is written? Listen. The word of God that is allocated for every area of your life to produce victory. You are not going to spare. You will speak. Listen. Listen. I told you that words carry energy. They carry presence. They create imagery. They connect your emotions to those images and then they make for creation. This is the technology of information. You are going to pray over anything in your life 
that must change in this season that must change you are going to enforce the word of god with power and grace i'd like you to lift your ma- your voice mention the area that must change place a demand don't let the devil speak things to your ears is it your finances? Is it your family? Is it your spiritual life? Listen to me. You can create a new effect. You can create a new atmosphere. You can create a new image. You can win. The word of God abides in you. Open your mouth and declare. 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 The word of the Lord. In the glory and the power, I see miracles, signs and wonders. In the glory and the power, I see I'm a sign and wonder. Son of man, what seest thou? Hold on, hold on. You are going to pray. Lord, change my perception about life, my perception about God, my perception about my circumstances, my perception about Satan. Do a miracle to my sight. Lift your voice and pray. Do a miracle. Change my perception. Every image, every emotional connection to every image that is birthing pain, that is birthing impossibility, that is allowing darkness to reign over my life. Change my perception. Koinonia pray a miracle of the seen eyes. Change my perception. The Bible says, For we know that all things work together for good to them who love God and who are the called according to His purpose. Lift your voice and pray. Change my perception. Change my financial perception. My spiritual perception. My career perception. My sociological perception. My emotional perception. Let my perceptions be lined up to and with the world. Let my perceptions be lined up to and with the world. Shalabaria, Kalabrantos, 
Change my perception in the name of Jesus. Change my perception. My perception of ministry. My perception of life. My perception of my family. My perception of increase. My perception of your purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's have the last prayer point for tonight. Listen. The victory of the believer is in staying and hearing and seeing the word of God but we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror we are changed into the same image not another you will become the reality of the information that enters your life you will become weakness when you hear weakness you will become weakness when you hear weakness. You will become strength when you hear strength. Listen to me. You will become powerful when you hear power. You will become full of faith when you hear faith. You will become a man of speed when you hear words of speed. You will become revived when you hear words of revival. You will become a man of fire when you hear words of fire. Listen, your thinking makes your belief system and it translates into who you are. You have an assignment to from today and forever protect yourself. Protect yourself. Protect yourself from the influence, the arsenals of culture, the arsenals of Satan. The arsenals of past, your past, the arsenals of your weakness, career, whatever it is. Make up your mind that you sustain the stamina to stay on that which is written. For the Bible says, listen to me, that heaven and earth will pass away, but this word abides forever. The Bible says he upholds all things, not by ideas, by the word of his power. So no matter what you are going through in your life, you are not defeated if what is written is still in your mouth. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. I'm rounding up. This book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night consistently that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein. Then and only then shalt thou make your way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Last prayer. Lord Jesus, magnify your word and the voice of the Holy Spirit above every other voice and influence in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Magnify. Magnify. If someone pray, magnify your word above my circumstances magnify your word above my limitations magnify your word above ministry magnify your word if someone pray lord i want to see your word exalted be lifted high, be lifted high, oh Lord, be lifted high, for you are holy, righteous and holy.
above the doctor's report. That above the class of degree you finish with. Oh Lord, believe Lift that above every worry that plagues you down. Oh Lord, believe It is within the power of God to lift a man. It is within the power of God to take weak men and set them as kings and princes. It is within the power of God to prosper a man. Please listen to what I tell you. It is within the power of God to keep a man. It is within the power of God to bring deliverance and to bring salvation. It is within the power of God to give you a new name that the mouth of the Lord himself will call. Lifted. Exalted. That when you stand through life, anything that is not the word of God, you have an assignment to fight that fight. It's not a weak fight. It's a great fight. Until that which is written becomes your experience. Until everything that you see is Jesus. Until everything that you see is his grace, his life, his power, his wisdom. Until everything you see is that what you saw in your dreams and your vision now becomes your experience. You continue to set your gaze on Jesus until you see that anointed version of you that you saw in your dream. No matter what you see in your life, don't let men clap you to your grave. If it has not become what you saw, keep pressing. Lord, I thank you, but I keep seeing. We are able to go out and take the country. To possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Though the giants may be on our way to hinder, God will surely give us victory. We are the generation that is well able. Regardless of your background, you are well able. It may not look like it until the word of God gains ascendance. Your assignment is to believe his report and to stay there. Apostle, but you do not understand. I didn't get admission. Apostle, as I am right now, I don't even know where the next meal will come from. Apostle, I've prayed and fasted for the anointing, for things to move in my life. It doesn't matter what it is. My brothers hear me. My sisters hear me. You are only victorious when you stand on God's side. Stand. Continue to exalt his word. Lift it above. Once it stands above, you will see what that word will do. It will become not only an anchor, it will become a cover. It will become the basis for your victory. Hear me? Even the hand of God wrote twice. That means whatever was written can be rewritten. Did you hear what I said? The hand of God wrote once and wrote again for Moses. Isaiah, go back to Hezekiah. Tell him I have changed my mind. Hezekiah, there is no death for you again. Please pay the price to know God. Pay the price to know God. Hezekiah, you will continue to be king. I have shifted the song to prove to you that I have rewritten. Esther meets the king and says, write again, O king. It was her man that deceived you to write. You wrote death. It is within your power to write life again. And the king said, bring me the paper. And he wrote and stamped it. Hear me? No matter what has been written over your life, I stand by the word of God. Listen to me. In this kingdom, please hear me. 
there is a heavy anointing on me. I want to pray for you. Listen. It says, my heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. It says, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. I want to write something in your life by the Spirit. It is true that what was written can be rewritten. Mm. Please, you don't have to kneel. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. It is true that the ordinances and the appointments of death the appointments of failure it is true that the expectations of wicked people waiting believing that your family will not amount to anything that your life will go down tonight i stand by the spirit indicting a good matter he said yeah i speak of excellent things and he says my tongue is a pen of a ready writer i stand by the god of heaven who calls men by his grace i declare Whatever was written that is an appointment unto death, I change it and I speak life to you now. Hear me. If Esther did not come to Mordecai, it was not only, if Esther did not come to the king, it was not only her man. Hear me, look at me, let me teach you a mystery. If Haman died and Israel died, God lost. The verdict that was in the presence of the king was not just for Haman, it was also for Israel. And Esther came and said, King, write again. The verdict that plagues families and plagues individuals hear me it is not only for your grandfather alone it affects everybody it is not only for Nigerians alone but we are standing like midwives like Esther to say king right again in the name of Jesus every appointment unto derision, unto death, unto causes, unto woes. I stand as one who stands by the election of grace and I declare that ordinance is changed over your life. Please help them. That ordinance is changed over your life. Hear me. It was unfortunate for Herod. Herod spoke against Peter. And he was speaking against the gospel. But there were saints who were praying. There was nobody to advocate for Herod. Herod fell from his throne. Died immediately. And worms came out of his body. They are taken for a prey and none say it restore. Listen. Restoration is advocated for through the power of prophecy. I decree that anything that has become a programming over your life and destiny to sabotage the purposes of God over your life, I stand by the power of words and in the name of Jesus we create a new outcome for you hallelujah don't sit here and allow the over 40,000 or so people following online who are receiving and getting blessed and their lives are changing and you are here seated and you are wondering can God change me are you not seeing don't you see his signature all over listen there are three platforms for us to receive in the kingdom I'm rounding up now there are three platforms for reception 
I've taught this, but let me just touch it quickly. The first platform for reception is an encounter with the presence of God. When you meet God, the presence of God alone, listen, will leave certain deposits. It's like an intercourse between a man and his wife. There is a transfer. So when you meet God, there is a deposit. Listen, the second platform for reception is through your understanding and your application of the principles of the kingdom. There are dimensions of the power of God that has been vested in laws. You don't have to pray. The moment the laws are accurately um, operated, the power is released immediately. You don't have to be a Christian. But the third dimension, listen, the third dimension of reception is by tapping into the covenant a man has with God. Listen. Men enter covenants with God that represents platforms for certain possibilities to find expression. Either through their personal press or through the office they represent and the possibilities it brings. Listen to me. You will never touch prosperity ignoring Abraham. Abraham entered a covenant with God that became the platform to see that dimension of God work in your life. There are men today who have covenants with God answers to prayer is not just by their personal faith their altar is a mystery and others can tap into that mystery through honor and receive results that are above and beyond your current level of believing god when when saul came where samuel was just that atmosphere implicated him he prophesied all kinds of things happened to him You need to understand that territories, human beings represent systems in the kingdom. And not there are certain audacious statements that when God makes, he's not just waiting for your personal faith. He creates the platform for receiving those miracles upon a covenant. Are we together now? God entered a covenant with Abraham. Is that true? And then Abraham slept with Hagar and then had Ishmael. Is that true? They were at the wilderness crying. Two of them were crying. God only had the cry of Ishmael. Why? Because Ishmael was Abraham as far as the covenant was concerned. So God could not listen to Hagar, but he had the voice of the Lord crying. And because of that, he came. Let me tell you, this ministry you see like cobwebs. Is an encapsulation of mysteries and covenants. Mysteries and covenants. Agreements with God that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen. I want you to leverage on those advantages and cheaply tap into certain things tonight. You are not alone. There is grace for you. Rise up on your feet. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are mighty. Before we begin to minister I want you to lift your voice and tell God everything you desire for him to do don't keep quiet don't say God knows open your mouth Lord step into my finances Lord step into my business Lord step into my family faithful God hallelujah Oh, 
Sé que para la mano sobra de la mano. Lord, take away the barrier that is stopping my doors from opening. Take away the barrier, oh God, stopping my influence. Enlarge my coast. prayers Lord I must take my testimony tonight I'm tired of this fibroid it dies this night this night it must go this night not tomorrow Lord favor must land upon my life I'm tired of struggling Favor must come upon my life. Those online, make sure you are praying. The anointing of the Spirit will reach you where you are. You reign, you reign, hello, you reign. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. Don't bring them out. I am seeing the Lord speaking to me and he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies and it's coming on 21 people. 21 people. I stretch my hands right now. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that impartation. 21 people. Divine strategies. The wisdom of God. Receive it. That idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people, 
the Lord shows me 21 people an impartation supernatural strategies Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen. The Lord is speaking to me. And this is a mystery. God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Listen. Two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit and I'm seeing a map. Get ready, please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria and I'm landing in Kaduna state. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now. By the spirit of God, Kaduna state. Kaduna state. I see an anointing, only Kaduna state. Shabaratakata, Embreketeta. Kaduna State, a miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, there is an anointing. There is an anointing. God is bringing breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. I don't know why God does this. Brothers and sisters, don't ask me. Don't ask me. This is an operation. It's called the Ministry of Signs and Wonders. Now I see Benway State. Benway State. I see an anointing on Benway State. Now, an anointing on Benway State. Benway State. Shaka Toda Parata. Reketekete. Help them, please. Benway State. You can't stand it. You don't have to know whether you don't know your state. Benway State. Miracles. Miracles. Go into Benway State. I hear or to go in the spirit. A miracle happening right there. Right there. All those connected to that bloodline. There is a miracle for you right now. Don't trivialize what is happening here, brothers and sisters. These are territorial breakthroughs. Territorial breakthroughs. Hallelujah. 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 I'll pray for Stephanie. 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 I'm hearing a name, Stephanie. Please, let's save time. Who is Stephanie? You're like a red dress or something like that. Stephanie. Who is that? Stephanie. There is a Stephanie I'm seeing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone. And in the vision, the Lord is showing me it's like a red dress, but I'll pray for you. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you witchcraft ends in your family. Witchcraft ends in your family. You will hear testimonies that will surprise you. Right now I stretch my hands towards you. Now it ends by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Johanna. 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 I'm hearing a name Johanna. Please save our time. Johanna. I don't know who that person is. Johanna, I won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast. Johanna, 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 Johanna. Whether you're here inside or outside. Johanna. 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 There is a lady following us from Lagos. Your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. You are in a room. You are following from a laptop. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to pray. I tell you, I feel fire in this place. It's time to command deliverance. It's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives. Forces of darkness. The Lord is bringing deliverance to your family. Your family. The Lord is bringing deliverance. I'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family. And the Lord is bringing deliverance right now. Right now to the family. Right now to the family. The Lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family. A major deliverance to the family. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. As I begin to pray for you, all those devils that has tied the lives of people, it doesn't mean you are possessed. It's not an insult. You may not even know. You may be minding yourself just like you're standing now. I'm going to command those devils, they must go. They are not only going to live your life, they must live your family. Are we together? Listen, some of you brought many prayer lists. Just one spirit living will produce all that testimony. Believe me. Believe me, lift your hands. My heart, my soul, I give to you. I bow to you, my Savior and King. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for your anointing to deliver, to set free. There are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they must go. I want you to bring them out now. They must go. They must go now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. You'll be surprised to see what happens. Kai, 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 Kai. I see spirits of delay. 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 Spirits that have held men down. All kinds of spirits. Father, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, Lord, as your people shout, may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough, 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 flowing sound, my flowing sound. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Now I command those demons, go now, go now, go now, Kato Sotoba. Lift your voice and begin to command every spirit, every devil. Help them, please. Go now. I command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people. You must go now, inside and outside. I command you, inside and outside. Bring them out. I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice. I command you. You must go now, now, by the anointing of the Spirit. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their breakthrough. Lift your hands while you pray. Atasileka prosuto pariata katusha. Prende kabrato sokoto baleyakata. I'm seeing gates and I'm seeing chains on them, and the Lord is saying to unlock those chains. Unlock those chains. That anointing will come on certain people right now. Father, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, any place in your life that has been chained and tied right now in Jesus' name, I command those gates be open. Be open, be open, be open, be open by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Chains, chains, be broken. Ushers, please. Chains, be broken. In the name of Jesus. Chains, be broken. Be broken. Kalapatoshaya. Release their destinies outside. The Holy Ghost is touching people outside. I see a wind of fire. Touching people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 
every enchantment, every enchantment, every witchcraft against the lives of people, against destinies, you must go now. Mr. Man, lift your hands. This man, lift your hands. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night. Right now, receive that anointing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them out. I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity, we have to be very fast because I want to focus on barren people right now. Charity, charity. 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 I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough for charity. The second overflow. There are two people God is touching there. The second overflow. I see the anointing coming on two people. The overflow, the roadside. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Something is going to happen here. Now, ushers, I want you to be sensitive. I'm going to pray for certain people. You will have to help them. The grace for speed, listen, is going to come on some people. Physically, they will find themselves trying to run. Help them. So that it's not like they won't be able to control themselves. It's a prophetic act by the spirit so that they don't enjoy anybody. Lord, in the name of Jesus, guys, be sensitive, please. In the name, help them, please. It's already happening. That's the instruction God is giving me. An anointing will come on you physically. You will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough. Right now, Lord, I release that anointing. Give men speed. Give men speed. Give men speed. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Give men speed. Run like Elijah. Help them. Run like Elijah. Help her. Help her. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Grace for speed. I release it. I release it. From my spirit. I release it. Grace for speed. No more stagnation. No more retrogression. Run with the grace of Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahas. Hallelujah. Charity. Charity. Are you married? The Lord wants to give you two miracles. Huh? Number one, God wants to settle you maritally. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Second, what are you doing? I just finished school. I'm a graduate now. Huh? I'm a graduate now. You are a graduate? Yes, sir. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing Abuja. Huh? Yes, sir. Abuja? Yes. What is Abuja? I have a fiancé. Uh, you have somebody there. Yes. Sir. That's the person to marry you. Okay, Did you sir. tell me? No, sir. Did you tell me? No. That's what I'm telling you. I'm looking at you. I said God will settle you Amen. maritally. Amen. Huh? And then God will give you a job. Amen. Supernatural job. Amen. Because it's your desire. Amen. God will give you a job. Amen. The Lord is saying, I should prophesy to you. I'm opening a new chapter over your life. The past. Uh -uh. Your future has to change. It, the, what the past is, is not a good testimony. And the Lord is saying, I'm giving you a new chapter. A new chapter. Come, my dear, in the name of Jesus. God is giving you a job. May he connect you maritally. Huh? Is your name Charity? Is your name Charity? In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Delay ends now. Delay ends now. I pray for your auntie. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I minister to one more case before... I pray, I want to pray specifically for barren people. I'm going to pray that before we we'll do a lot of other things, before we call the sick out, 
Thank God there are many hands today. And so we're able to do a very quick walk. Ladies, when I count three, just shout, I receive. Don't worry. Follow me and do my stupid thing. Are you ready now? One, two, three. There is an opening. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Many people are entering it. I see it. It's a door of breakthrough. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Shalom. Jehovah Shalom. Shalom. You're mighty in this place. You welcome in this place. I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see being released to people in the realm of the spirit, doors, strange doors. I told you there is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. The language tonight is more, 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 more. There is more, more anointing, more grace, more unction, more wisdom. There is more. There is more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. The Lord is leading me to pray for brothers. Lift your hands. You'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now. Hmm. The Lord wants to release grace for establishment. Listen. There is such an anointing. Don't be foolish. Receive it. Receive it with all your spirit. There is a spirit, especially in this side of the north. Men get established very late. Very late. Very late. You make money late. You build a house late. It's a bad spirit. God wants to release something. Those online, you can follow. I want to pray. I see this thing falling on many men. Jesus it is your word. You have released this word. I put authority upon this prophecy. And I declare, let it enter like an arrow into the life of men. Right now, take it. Receive that grace right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Help them. Grace, grace. Strange establishment. Doors opening. Doors opening in their own accord. Help them. Doors opening. I put you in a platform spiritually where you experience speed and establishment. In the name of Jesus. Help them please so they don't enjoy themselves. My God. Be established. Be established. Be established. Be established. I lose your hands. I untie your hands. Every brother here, I untie your hands. Be established by the Spirit. Be established by the Spirit. Go and buy that land by the Spirit. Go and build that house by the Spirit. I open strange doors. Don't say you are too young. It's an anointing. It's not your effort. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now leave those who are standing here very quickly. If you are here specifically, please listen. You are here specifically trusting God to stamp the feet of Satan in your family over the issue of children. You know, God announced beginning of October that the theme for this miracle service, you've had the testimonies. Please don't say they have prayed for me before. Don't allow that unbelief destroy you. Are we together? While you are coming, there is a lady who will shout under the anointing. It is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness. 
is a loud shout it will be loud enough for everyone to hear by the spirit in the name of jesus christ lord we give you praise that's a shout there that's a shout by the spirit there is an anointing to pray for the barren come please all those whether man woman if you are married look don't come out here if you are not married why are they here why are they all here you must be married except if you are standing in for someone don't stand here doubting there is an anointing i see a river some of you as you are standing right now the power of god will come on you just before i even start praying yeah. look at this will you open up the gate open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Lift your voice in one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate? for you by myself that's the instruction i will do it very fast you don't have to tell me any stories i don't care what they said low spam count um infertility i don't care the report as you receive that touch if you are standing for someone call them let them know you are praying for them are we together now don't just say i receive and then you stand there let the people know what god is doing i'll have to do this very fast after that, we'll pray for the sick generally. We have a lot to do. Don't lose touch of this. Don't come for koinonia and then sit down. This is not a museum. Let your heart be connected. Because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit. I'm going to be very fast. I'm seeing, listen, I'm seeing something like a bird is jumping out of a lady now. One person here. I don't know who that person is. But the Lord is asking that until that happens like a bird that's what i'm seeing father in the name of jesus who is that person let there be that miracle right now it's like something will just leave you just leave you just leave you and release you and release you by the power of the holy spirit now as i pray for you many of you strange things will happen some of you are standing for other people but as i pray for you god is securing something in your life you don't have to come out please if you do not belong to this category that's the lady i'm talking about now i'll pray quickly just give us um uh, uh, keys just play something very quickly father in the name of jesus let everyone here return with a miracle child no matter what the spirit is no matter what the issue is fibroid infertility low spam count whatever i don't care what the name is it must live right now in the name of Jesus please shift very quickly as I lay my hands on you it is done receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace now go and carry your miracle child madam carry your miracle baby carry it now carry it now my god I tell you I see babies literally in the realm of the spirit carry it now carry it now carry it right now carry it right now Miracle, 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 miracle. Shata da 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 balada. Regete gete gete. There is an unusual grace here. There is an unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Heal now. Open up the gates in the name of Jesus. Grace, grace, grace. Shabala da bala da ba. Rekete kete. Embro to 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 bala da bala da ba. Shabara da bala da ba. Grace, grace, grace. Help them, please. Let's save time. Grace. Receive your miracle, baby. My God, my God. Testimonies. 
Wombs opening. Fertility be restored. Receive it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Bring it. In the name of Jesus. 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 Return with the miracle child. 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 No barrenness. Out. Out now. Release her now. Now. Out. Out of her. Return with your child. Miracles. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing twins in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is showing me twins. Somebody is carrying twins. Out. Let her go now. I command that spirit. Release her in the name of Jesus. Release her right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let it be open. In the name of Jesus. Grace. 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 Shebara do bara 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 bara. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. The Lord is healing irregular menstruation. Irregular menstruation for one woman is being healed right now so that you can carry your baby. Receive your child out, out of her. Now, return with your miracle child. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it ends now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, let her go now, keep praying in the spirit, don't just watch, miracles, 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 in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Supernatural miracles. The Lord is anointing you. Receive that anointing now. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace, 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 grace. Open. Open now. Open now. I see a womb that is closed. Open now. for you I want a woman to come up yes I'm seeing a woman who is pregnant you have been having nightmares somebody comes to you in the night you have you even wake up shouting you've not been able to sleep there is a pregnant woman here with that situation God wants to set you free please where are you if you care for you can come and God will set you free right now you are pregnant but I'm seeing you having very bad dreams like a nightmare Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself, for someone. 
seen something that is not nice I need to pray for a lady here don't be embarrassed don't be embarrassed I don't know if you have the courage if you have the courage I can pray for you please don't be embarrassed this is a family something like a living thing it almost looks like a physical living thing like a worm or like a snake literally comes out of your private part it comes out and goes back this is like a, a living a real object please who is that I have to pray for you like I said if you have the courage there's nothing to be ashamed what who is this one why is she here coughing out no 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 don't bring her in Jesus name you okay come in Jesus name it is done the Lord sets you free by the power of the Holy Spirit I need to pray for that lady honestly this is a serious thing in fact it's not just one I'm seeing two of you come and stand here something it looks like a worm but it's bigger than it you see it it comes out and goes back on its own who is that you're the one God bless you for your courage can you celebrate her don't be afraid see look let me tell you this is this is like a spiritual hospital so this is not a place immediately I saw it even me I honestly I my body was doing me one kind but I thought you have to say this is bad it's like a doctor madam Kai, and you love God oh, don't be afraid huh? do you know this thing where are you from because I'm looking at you you are supposed to be a very great woman I look at you and I see somebody ah, this is strange I'm seeing let me show you what I'm seeing I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State I'm seeing you but I'm seeing a white woman I'm seeing a white woman but I'm seeing you and the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman that's the vision that I'm saying say Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dear, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster that will want your life to keep going without achievement. I'm praying for you now. May that devil live your life forever in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of Jesus. I use her as a point of contact. This is a nice woman. She didn't bargain for this and she loves God. Are you seeing that now? Who knows, probably you were trained by white men. Or she speaks very intelligently. But everything grounded. Hold my hand, man. To a point that, that, do you know what it means? Another object, did you plant an object in your body? Comes out through you at will. Goes back at will. For those of you who think witchcraft is not real, you are joking. You are watching one right now. Not pile, oh. I'm not talking of pile. Hold my hands, my hands. I'm angry in my spirit. In the name of the Lord God that I serve, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you. And go out of this woman's life. I restore you even physiologically. In the name of Jesus Christ. This old face is not your own. You are not that old. I change it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Give Jesus praise. Father, thank you. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
hold my hands is over over in the name of Jesus over in the name of Jesus is over in the name of Jesus there's one mama here the anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people there's one mama here I'm seeing in a vision the power of God will land on you 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 may not even be expecting it not everybody this, this is an, like an elderly woman but I'm seeing an anointing right now wherever you are father something will land it's like fire it will land on one mama now supernatural grace you will start laying hands on the sick oh that's the woman there help her help her please bring her here supernatural anointing supernatural anointing for the for barrenness look at this look at this this is an elderly woman for god's sake Shera taba roto koto baradia, lembra bata tatso kedia, ekara takata latotia. Father, take her to that level. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace, and I bring you to that realm. Release miracles to women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural. Supernatural. Daddy. Why is he here? Why is our daddy here? Who brought him out? You came on your own, sir? For barrenness? You? Where is your wife, sir? She is here, but I can't locate her. Now. Madam, come. You will see a man like, hold my hand, sir. You will see a man like this and think he has a child. You have a child? You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes. How old are you, sir? Don't be embarrassed. You are 57. You will still have your child. Where is your wife? Wife? Is she here? Is the wife here? She's not here. You are not sure. She's around here. You are sure she's around? Yes. Madam, if you are around, please, I want to pray for you and your husband. Otherwise, um, we can just pray and continue, please, so that we don't waste time. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. You can imagine the kind of oppression. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Your wife is not here. She's not coming out. Or is she under the anointing? Huh? Whose name? Maybe she doesn't want to come out. I hope she's not. She's here. What's her name, sir? Esther. Esther Atuluku. Please, you have had your name, madam. That's your husband calling you. Can you rush, please, so that we save time? Is she here? Is she outside? Otherwise, I'll just pray for him, please, so that we'll save time. There's a lot to do. Daddy, how long have you been married, sir? 32 years. 32 years. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real, if you ever tell me wickedness is not real, our daddy's children would have been married now with their own children. Ejime, am I correct? Look at this. Abraham waited 25 years. Our daddy has waited 32 years. Sir, you came here by faith. You are our father here. And you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here. Look at me, sir. I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not. I don't care whether she can give birth or not. I decree to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hand, sir. You will not have a child. You will have children. Listen, sir. I'm not saying God told me to tell you. I am telling you. There is something called a prophet's reward. In the name that is above all names, I speak over your life. That force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity, I cancel it right now. Sir, you are struggling financially. I have to pray for you. God wants to open a door for you. I, I hope you're not embarrassed sir, that I'm talking to you. Please hold my hands. Jesus, please change our daddy's story. 
let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen now please we are going to be very fast you are here for yourself you are not married you are standing for something in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural miracle now we are going to be very fast you can see it's past 9 but there are so many things we need to do we are going to do two things at the same time all those who are here trusting God for any miracle any miracle aside from barrenness except if you have another thing I don't care what it is please you are going to come there are men of God here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly it's a miracle service now look at this I want you to organize yourself uh, those outside hold on please hold on overflow 2 just walk right to the front you don't have to come here overflow to the whole of those occupying the roadside just walk right to the front of your your stage there overflow one here just walk right to the front here all those who are here you can just come out come out organize yourself you are sick or you are standing in for people jesus listen if you are standing here for impartation go back please 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 don't make a fool of yourself we are going to pray for i know some of you just want me to touch you there's nothing wrong with you don't play games with god go back to your seat you will receive impartation some of you there's nothing wrong you just want in case if there's something i should still pray go back please we don't have that time are we together now i'm not joking please there is no time huh so those outside just obey instructions please some of you think i have to be the one to touch you that's unbelief i i spent time talking about faith here just walk outside stand there overflow look at how many people pastor for god's sake look at this look at how many people huh? almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses. Someone will just get up in the morning and you cannot breathe again. That devil is a liar in the name of Jesus. And I also understand there have been mysterious accidents. You are minding your business, car will jam you, bike will jam you. We are going to take care of all those things today. It's called a miracle service. Now, this is what will happen. Please and please, anybody who lays hands on you, just go back to your seat believing in faith. We don't have time to take testimonies. I know there are so many miracles. If we do that, we're going to spend time here. There are other things we need to do. Are we together now? So I will pray for you. You can see there are so many people. Uh, let's do it this way. Pastor Pete is with me here. So um, Pastor Pete. Ah, no, Ejimi, you know what? Ejimi, Pastor Femi, you can go outside. You can just handle that, that one there. Pastor Alpha. Pastor Alpha, Kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor Ejimi, and you and who you and pastor femi yes we are not just don't think just because you are a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit i don't have to call you we are not playing games this is not about ministry there is grace are we together pastor alpha please outside kenny mike promise where's promise join Ejimi. promise femi and and pastor jimmy outside please just guide them protocol they, so that don't relay anybody please behave yourself don't disturb anybody i'm here with pastor pete benga we are going to pray in the name that is above all names shout amen, amen. father was standing in unity from three different points you have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people lord every man of god represented here as we lay hands on your people it doesn't matter what the situation is let there be healing let there be deliverance in the name of jesus christ as we minister to you any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out in the name of jesus christ please guys we have to be very fast so that we'll save time pastor sir thank you so much worship help us please we'll be very fast now all those sitting and around those online just connect by faith there's nobody touching you physically but the holy ghost is there he's representing us and he will touch you while that is happening concurrently please your miracle um uh your prayer request 
pass it ushers if you can connect yourself i know that there are not many of you protocol you can help them please pass your prayer request if someone sent a text to you now you can copy it quickly please pass your prayer request while laying hands on you if they give you a prophetic word receive it please guys don't waste time on one person let's just do it fast jesus will give you praise I have no other God but you. Here right now. And you have done Jesus. what no man right has done. Please, as they pray for you, just quietly you go back to your seat. Rejoice in. No go back to your seat. Check yourself. Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Make sure you're submitting your prayer requests. And then when they pray for you, you don't have to go back to another line. Once they pray for you, I'd like you to believe and say God is doing miracles. Joy of the 
to quickly pass your prayer requests. I exempted Pastor Jakes for a reason. The Lord gave me a word and then I'm going to give him and um, are we together now? Praise the Lord. There is an anointing that is going to release upon you now before before we come to prayer. I know there are people, how far have we gone, those outside? There's still a number of people. Okay, rise up on your feet, please, quickly. Jakes. The Lord gave me an instruction to tell him to speak prophetically and release an anointing and a grace. Honestly, I don't know what anointing it is, but I want you to believe something heavy will come upon your life. Are you hearing me? Those outside, whether you are joining the line, they can still be praying for you while you receive this. It's going to be a very quick one, and then... Um, Ushers, please, let's have the request so that we can finish it because as I'm still going to speak in your life and there will be some activations. Bless you, sir. Oh, 
kishti balande kale bose Tonight the Lord will open up portals for many as you sleep tonight. <laughs> Some of you have an experience of seeing a ladder as angels were sent and descend bringing messages to you. Tonight. 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 Tonight by the power of God's holy ghost. By the power of God's holy ghost. By the power of God's holy ghost. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are standing here in the midst of us. Yeah, I sense the Lord's presence. <laughs> Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Hurry up while the other ministers are busy ministering to the people outside. We are going to pray on the request now. Pastor Pete is going to lead us. Pastor Sajex, please help me since you're the only one here. We are praying for your request. I want you to believe God. Stretch your hands over this place. And I want you to begin to pray in the spirit, everybody. Stretch your hands. You are praying in the spirit. We may not be able to minister directly to everyone. But I want you to believe that God will touch you. Don't just stand watching. Make sure you pray. Stretch your hands. Those online, I want you to know that your requests are with us. We are laying hands by faith also. Those online, you are part of this. Stretch your hands right now as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father in your divine wisdom. When you wanted to communicate to us the mysteries of your will. Lord you wrote it down for us to read. In the same vein oh God. Your sons and your daughters gathered across the nations. Those that are here. Those that are across the world. From the internet. They have written their own requests, understanding the mystery of the scribes. That whatever is written has a spiritual significance. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we release the angels that respond to the prayers of men. 
the angels in Revelation chapter 8 that burn those prayers as incense and they ascend to the throne room of God right now by the power of God let those angels move swiftly in the name of Jesus an angel appeared unto Daniel and said I have come because of your word Father, let angels respond according to this request. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing here written will go back unanswered. We prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availed much. Father, we are on our knees on this mountain, at this altar bringing this request before the throne room of God and the Bible says he that goeth before the throne boldly shall come back O God with results and answers and the grace and the mercies of God shall be released right now we release grace and Lord we release mercy in the name of Jesus every prayer written in this ground upon this mountain it is answered in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Aside from those that are still praying for, please everybody rise up. Please rise up quickly. Rise up to receive the prophecy and the impartation. Two things we'll do at once, just two, three minutes, and then we're done. Please make sure you wait to the end of the service so that you listen to every announcement. I want to pray. We want to, every miracle service is a platform to activate grace. You have seen certain dimensions of God, but there's more. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you, and I'll join it with the prophecy. This is the second to the last miracle service for the year, so don't be careless about it. Open up your spirit. There are people here who have been crying and say, Lord, I know there can be a new dimension of grace. I have seen your hand in my life, but I want to see a greater level. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Drink of a new fountain of grace. Help him, please. Drink of a new fountain of grace. I activate the gifts of the Spirit at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Step into it. Eyes be open, ears open. Receive impartations. Receive impartations. Receive grace, grace. Impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you have not seen from the start of this year till now. On this mountain tonight, I invoke it upon your spirit. May that favor come upon you. I call the heavens to bear witness that you are a carrier of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Where it has worked for others and has refused to work for you, I declare the grace that makes things work, the power of performance, receive it right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Everything dead in your life, I don't care what and I don't care how long. In the name of the one who raised from the dead, I command that thing to come back to life. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. Tonight, like Pastor Jake prayed, revelations of strategies from the realm of the spirit. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Supernatural impartation. I pray for you. Everyone here who wants to start a business, start a company, start something, any value adding platform, I prophesy upon you the spirit of influence. May it come upon it. The spirit of influence. May it come upon it. The spirit of influence. May it come upon it. Every student here, hear me. I program your spirit to rise to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, on common understanding, on common illumination. 
any final year student here who it looks as if you are not going from the look of things in the name of Jesus we change it here right now believe God we change it now we change it now we change it from your faculty we change it from your department by the authority of the kingdom in the name of Jesus anyone here carrying any track record of bad luck it works for others until it gets to your turn then there must be stories I separate you and bad luck forever. I separate you and tragedy forever. Hallelujah. This spirit that came to Zaria that is causing men to be sick, hear my voice. There is a platform where ambassadors are in this kingdom therefore i stand apostolically and prophetically we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and we banish such operations in the name of jesus may you and your kind be banished from this city in the name of jesus that spirit that brings accident and untimely death looming around our territory no 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 zaria is a place of light it's not the place where any spirit will come and loom and i speak prophetically across this place every spirit of untimely death hear my voice in the name of jesus i command the gates closed over you i command the gates closed over you not by accident not by bomb blast, the gate closes over you. Everything that has left your hand, that left your life, that should not have left, I don't care where it went to, I call it back. May it gather its kind and come to you. I say it again everything that has left your life has left your hands may it gather its kind and return back to you listen anyone here who the devil has taunted spiritually financially in influence you are not rising for whatever reason in the name of jesus i force you to rise in the name of Jesus, I force you to grow. If there is anybody in this place, from January till now, you have not stood here to testify, I prophesy to you, now and the next 30 days, may it be your turn to stand here. Believe me, believe me, now and the next 30 days, may you stand here to testify. Anyone here called jobless, or you are doing a job that is not a job, any nonsense thing around that is not bringing you tangible, sizable benefit in the name of Jesus. I don't know where the jobs are, we create vacancies and put you there. We create vacancies and put you there. Any man or woman who said over his dead body for you to succeed, I declare their prayers answered tonight. I declare their prayers answered tonight. I pray for you. Listen, there is a mantle of honor upon this house. And if you belong to this family, it should be evident in your life. And in case it's not yet working, like a programming in a computer, like an antivirus, I place that mantle of honor upon you. May it shield you from shame. May it, May it shield you from shame. Hallelujah. Every spiritual life that has died here, 
no more passion for the things of God. No more passion for prayer. No more passion for the word of God. I plant in you a fresh passion tonight. Fresh passion tonight. We're rounding up. Every family represented here that has not had a reason to smile this year. It's been tears and tears from home. Every time they call you from home, one episode of bad luck. May this be the first good news you will hear. Good news of breakthrough. Good news of increase. Good news of speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever rises up to find you, may the God that I serve, even in the secret, may he fight them. We're rounding up. I pray for you. Barrenness or its kind looming around your life, looming around your environment whether in your body, whether in your finances, whether in the works of your hands, in your ministry, in your business, I pray for you. The water that flows that makes the barren plant to receive strength and begin to rise and become a great tree, I introduce that water into your life. Therefore, I prophesy to you, in the name of Jesus, be fruitful. Be fruitful. Multiply. Multiply. Replenish. Subdue. And may you command absolute dominion. Absolute dominion. Help them please. Every strange nightmare. Strangers roaming around your sleep. Not allowing you to enjoy the sleep that the saints should enjoy. Disturbing you, oppressing you, sleeping with you, manipulating your dreams. Confusing you, you don't know whether it's God speaking or it's the devil. In the name of Jesus, I banish those strangers from your life forever. I banish those strangers from your life forever. of Jesus Christ and I pray finally for you there is a spirit of increase there is a spirit that causes men to prosper there is a mantle that brings wealth from the east the north the south you have the value but you need the access you have the value already you are not a non-entity you already have what to give but the other side of the exchange is what you are looking for from the east to the west, to the north, to the south. Whoever must show up in your life in the next 30 days to be a ladder for you to climb to the next level, I prophesy and I call them into your destiny. I prophesy and I call them into your destiny. There's someone here, God is giving you a word. Go and register a company and just keep it. You may not know what to do with it, but just keep it. Keep it and give God space to use it and surprise you. That's a prophetic word for somebody here. Just register it and keep it. You, there is no business to source for. Don't worry. Register it and keep it. And give God space to surprise you. May that happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every circle of continual suffering where you think you are about to rise up another episode of trouble I declare where the devil put a comma I change it to a full stop never again never again never again in the name of Jesus Christ you are here you need Jesus you are saying man of God I have watched the things that the Holy Spirit has done I have seen the transformation keep standing please no sitting no moving around let's stand up please keep standing you are here and you are saying Apostle, I want you to pray for me. I love Jesus Christ. But for some reason, my life has gone haywire. I cannot say that I'm truly enjoying relationship and fellowship with him. 
And there are others who are saying, man of God, this is the first time. I've always mocked at the things of God. I've never really been serious. But now, I'm making up my mind for Jesus. Overflow 1, overflow 2, all following us online. Wherever you are, I know that our time is gone, but let's honor Jesus. We cannot end this meeting without giving this opportunity. Wherever you are, don't wait for anybody to come. Be the first. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. I want to lead you to Jesus. Jesus is already talking to some people. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. There are people outside. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Don't stroll around. Run like there's fire on the mountain. One. I'll count one to five and that will be it. Two. Lord, I give you my Three, please, we're out of time. Run, run to Jesus. I live for you. Every Come to him, he will give you a fresh start. A new beginning. Will you have your way? Hallelujah. If you are still coming, please rush and join them. It should not take a long time. If you are still indecisive, then just remain at your seat. By now, you should know where you stand. When the Titanic sank, there were only two lists. Those who were saved, those who were lost. If you are not sure you are saved, come out and join them. Because it means that you are not, you are not saved. You should be very sure. If you are a man of God, it's like, I think I'm saved. Come and join them and get a very uh, a, a high level of certainty to know that you are in Christ in the name of Jesus I appreciate everyone daddy thank you for coming and all those who have come to make this decision please understand you are not reciting a poem don't be emotional about it this is a simple decision but it's the greatest miracle you are opening up your heart to the life of God the Bible says and this life is in his son it says he that hath the son hath eternal life say this after me with all your heart and sincerely say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart tonight I come to you and I declare that you receive my life and manage it for me I receive your life into my spirit I declare that from today Jesus is my Lord my savior my friend and my king i declare that satan has no power over my life i'm a child of god i'm born again in the name of jesus christ father i stretch my hands towards these great precious people bless them let this decision be genuine and let this be the beginning of great days in their lives i anoint you with grace I command that you begin to see the faithfulness and the goodness of God in the land of the living. I plant in you like a virus, a hunger for the things of God. And I declare that it will override every other passion in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for this great decision that you have made. Now hold on please. I want you to do two things for me. Number one, the Bible says, They that be planted in the house of the Lord, it says they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Visiting the house of God is not the key to consistency. You must settle down and receive the word. Our prayer meetings are Tuesdays, except for this week, we're making a little adjustment. I'm going to bring an announcement on that shortly. But you can be part of it for at least one month so that you can build your spiritual life. And then I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They'll have your details and then they'll warmly follow you up on our behalf and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Please, this way, all of you, God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Koinonia, are you appreciating them? Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. 
Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.